Hello everyone, and welcome back! So, uh, I did it. <laughs> I found the Psyduck, and, uh, 20 minutes later, probably, uh, I found a Charmander at long last. It was really hard to catch, actually. <laughs> Yay, Charmander! <sighs> when they say rare, they're not kidding about rare Pokemon. Like, oh my god. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what my playtime was last episode, but feel free to look at my current playtime and then look at my previous playtime from the end of the last episode. And there you go. That's how long it took me to find Charmander after I finished the recording. Uh, so... All right, party, not party, bag. Pokemon bag. It's level 12, too, so it's not starting at a bad level, either. Um, oh, but who do I want to get rid of? <laughs> Butterfree. Um, add to party. Butterfree. And then we'll move you. I did remove Magikarp when I got Psyduck because I like Golduck much better than Gyarados, though I would love to have both. But then I'm the type of person that would have a fully water type team, so yeah, not much balance there. But I did catch two Psyduck, and oh my god, this Psyduck was the worst to catch. <laughs> it took me literally 10 Pokeballs on that second Psyduck. First Psyduck, threw a Pokeball, caught it. Not a problem. I was like, oh yeah, the Psyduck aren't, easy, aren't hard to catch. Second Pokeball, couldn't catch it. No, it didn't. Um, it second Psyduck, couldn't catch it. Didn't matter. Third Psyduck, finally caught it. Again. People call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win the fabulous prize. Pl prize. So you got what it takes. Fries? Yeah, yeah, I want fries, yeah. I'd love to win some fries. What level are your Pokemon at? Level 9? Ow. <laughs> Ow, I don't even have, like, Ember yet. What the heck? Hang on. Is this I have to look at? Uh, what level do I actually even learn, Ember? Level 7. I should have it by now. What the crap? I have smoke screen. Oh, no, wait. That's... Yeah, no. That... That's... The list for both of them. What the heck? I should have Ember, but I have smoke screen instead. Oh, no, wait. Okay. I'm reading the wrong thing, apparently. Okay, next level. I see it. Never mind. Next level, it's a completely different um, set of move sets. So, if I level it up to level 36 before it becomes a char the Charmeleon, I can get Flamethrower. I think Charizard probably requires like level 45 or something, probably. We're going by old school logic. 54 for Flamethrower. If I don't evolve it. Or if I do evolve it all the way to Charizard. I have to wait till 54 to learn Flamethrower. I remember my brother did that. He kept his Charmander. Really, really low level. Um, or not low level. But kept his Charmander for much of the original Pokemon game. Just so that he could get Flamethrower. And then once he got Flamethrower, it was like, okay. And then he just levels it up to Charmeleon and then Charizard. I was like, yes. So I do, I need to get Charmander up a full level then. I want him to even get Flamethrower for the first time. <laughs> so... But that's alright. Um, 
Yeah, I think we can get through Nugget Bridge here. I'm second. Now it's serious. Last alley. Oh, this will be easy. Just freaking thunder shock, and you got it. Pikachu is good choice for this fight. I knew you could do it. That was interesting. I didn't know you could praise your Pokemon somehow. I bet you that raises their friendship if you do that after each attack. How could I lose? Thank you for giving me more Pokeballs. Help me replenish my Pokeballs I lost. Trying to catch Charmander and Psyduck. You're number three. It won't be easy. Mmm, excuse me, sorry, my god. Speaking of uh, Bulbasaur and Squirtle, I'm going to look at where they are, too. Oh, wow. Right all the way back in... So they really are. The, the Bulbasaur really is actually in Viridian Forest. So, does it, but it's also... It says that you can get it here in Cerulean City as a gift. I don't see that, though. <laughs> I don't see that listed anywhere. It just says that on the site, but it doesn't say what gift or where. This is not a favorable matchup. Let's go, Belmont. <sighs> Wow, so I totally missed out on my chance to have a Bulbasaur. Like, I could have had one now if I had stayed and caught one back then. You, you do know you can't poison me, right? I'm a poison type. Meanwhile, I can vine whip you. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cerulean City gift. I don't know. What about Squirtle? Probably somewhere near Vermilion. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Gift in Vermilion City. Seafoam Islands, Route 25 or Route 24 for Squirtle. I'm not getting that till near end game. Ow, stomp flat. Getting all kinds of messages here on my phone. And they're all. Twitter notifications. Hey, Belmont's evolving. Cool. All useless Twitter notifications. So, as soon as I get to Vermilion City, I need to go back to Viridian Forest and do that gr same grind that I just did for Charmander again. So that I can get... Um... So I can get uh, Bulbasaur. I'm number four. Getting tired. It looks like the uh, rocket guy that's up here isn't a rocket, though. That's interesting. He probably is part of Team Rocket, but... In the original Red and Blue, he did not look like a member of Team Rocket. But then he fought him and he was. And in Leaf Green and Fire Red, I believe they changed it so that he did look like a rocket. But now they've gone back to the does not look like a rocket. So we'll see if when we get into battle, if it calls him a Team Rocket member or not. I'm curious. Goodbye, Meowth. I lost two. Got three Pokeballs. I wonder if people were upset if with this game because the experience share is just like on and there's no way to like turn it off or anything. 
Oh, I was going to sell these. That's right. Hmm. Oh, well. Payday, headbutt. Actually, Psyduck can learn headbutt. Psyduck learned headbutt. Cool. But yeah, like there's no way to turn off the um, experience share that I've seen. So. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stomp you. <clears throat> so. It's like, I wonder if people were upset about that. At, at the same time, I think people were upset about the whole game in general. So I don't think that one thing probably would have been a... Like, I don't think that would have been the thing that people complained about over the whole game. They've been like, they changed this and they changed that and I don't like all these changes and changes, changes, changes. I don't like changes. Let's just all go back to Gen 1 if you don't want changes. I also think it's really stupid when people are like, Oh, they're ruining the original Pokemon. I'm like, how does Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee change red, blue, and yellow? Like, red, blue, and yellow still exist. You can go back and play them, and they're still exactly the same. Nothing in those games has changed. I don't understand the logic that a game coming out later ruins the previous games. And I've heard that argument from so many people about so many different video game series. I'm like, it, no, <laughs> that, that doesn't even make sense. How does... A remake or a sequel ruined the original game. <laughs> you go back and you play the original game, and it's still the same as the last time you played the game. It only ruins it if it opens your eyes to the flaws that the game originally had. <laughs> I mean, I will say that Pokemon Sun and Moon and stuff like that have kind of ruined my ability to go back and play the original games because I'm so used to the new stuff. I'm going, the new games are so much better. You know, it's, it's made it hard to go back and play those old games. But if you don't like the changes, can't you just go back and play those old games the way they were? You know, the way that you like them? Congratulations, you beat our five trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. You got a nugget from the mysterious trainer. By the way, kid, how would you like to join Team Rocket? That's right. <laughs> I see what they did there. That's cool. We're a group dedicated to doing evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. I am evil, and I was always the kind of person that was like, yes, I want to join Team Rocket. And I was upset that there was no choice to join Team Rocket back then. And nowadays, eh, I'm kind of in, kind of yes, kind of no, just because I am still kind of evil. Um, but I'm not as big into like, I want to join Team Rocket as I used to be. Seriously, how do I keep doing that? <laughs> so, is that just a thing that it does when you're one shot an enemy? I just hadn't noticed before on other one shots. But I'll give them this much. I like the way they did that scene. That that scene is really the scene was really well done and I really like it. Hey, but you should avoid the attack. Wiggle hit. Yeah, I think it must just be whenever it's a one shot because I was like waving the controller and stuff and it didn't do anything. Arg, you are good! With your skills, you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. 
Come on, think of the opportunity. Shouldn't let a chance like this pass you by. Poof. Oh, hey. <laughs> let me guess, this guy's just going to give me a Charmander. I'm not good at raising Pokemon. I feel sorry for my Charmander because it's not getting stronger. So I want to give it to a better trainer than me. Are you interested? The number of Pokemon you've caught is 83. Cool. I want you to have this Charmander. Will you take it? Take good care of my Charmander. Hey! I did all of that grinding. I did all of that grinding. <laughs> oh my god. I did all of that grinding. All of that hard work just to catch a stupid Charmander. And it's this. It's I, I, okay. I'll give it this much. It is higher level. <coughs> I did all that grinding, and it's just it's right here. Let's see. And it doesn't count as a traded Pokemon, so I can change its name. Oh my god! I can't believe that. I did all that grinding to get it, and it's just right there. I wonder then if, because it says Cerulean City Gift for Bulbasaur. Route 24 Gift for Charmander. I didn't even see that. So somewhere in Cerulean City, there's somebody who will give me a Bulbasaur. That's interesting. I'm going to have to look around for that then. Um, let's see, Charmander. What do I want to name Charmander? Um, hmm. You know what? Let's see if it'll let me do this. Because eventually it'll get to be Char Charizard, right? Yeah. Head to party. In place of Charmander. There we go. We've got Lizard on. Cool. Alright, well let's take a quick run back to Cerulean City. Um, maybe just one of the houses or something, or maybe it becomes... I'm wondering, maybe it's um, this house? Because they usually give you the TM for dig. Maybe um, it's their house, and you know, they get robbed. and So then they're like, take our char, take our Bulbasaur. We don't want it to get hurt again, or whatever. I feel like I've been everywhere in here. I never saw a Bulbasaur anywhere, so I'm going to guess that I get it from them. That house doesn't have an entrance. And I need to do some selling and some more buying. Sell the pearl. Let's sell... Chalky Stone. Which doesn't seem to be worth anything anyway. It's all these gold nugs. Yeah, there's where we get some money right there. Um, I feel like I'm never going to use these. They also don't sell for anything, so never mind. Um, let's get rid of these. I never use them anyway. Like, even when a Pokemon gets put to sleep or paralyzed or something, I still don't use it. So, lure itself for a bit. It makes... Of course. The, the lure makes rare Pokemon more likely to appear. I get it now. That, that, that's how you get Charmander and stuff like that to show up more commonly. I get it now. I didn't get it before, but now I do. 
I could have used the lure and it was a spawn Charmander. Not that it mattered, because I get Charmander as a freaking gift. So I could have sat there and grinded out for Charmander like I did. Or I could have just walked up the route. Saved myself like 20 minutes. That's alright, I didn't get a Psyduck out of it. Still. Could call this episode something like Char do you mean Charmander is free? I don't know, something like that. Because I will, uh, when I go back to upload these videos and I look at them, I'm going to see, yeah, I did all that grinding for Charmander. And I'm like, oh, yeah. That's the episode where I discovered that Charmander was just free and I didn't have to do any of the grinding for Charmander to begin with. Oh my god, why did I do all that work? <laughs> Kill me now. <laughs> Seriously though, it's so pointless to do all that grinding. I will co come back to fight you. Look, well, Bellsprout. Okay, wow, I have 74 Pokeballs all of a sudden. Jeez. I didn't realize I had that many. That's not counting the amount of premier balls I have. I bet I can see one complaint with this game though, and that is that you can't nuzlock it. Like it would be impossible to nuzlock. Because there's no way to grind on trainers. And... You know, the only way to grind and get experience otherwise is throwing Pokeballs. And catching Pokemon. Which is the very, like, fundamental... Like, rule of... Um... Nuzlocke says that you can't catch more than one Pokemon per route. So. Higher level. Not a female Psyduck, unfortunately. But it is higher level. Oh my god. You do this to me again, Psyduck. Get in the ball, just like your brothers. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the problem I had last time. Got it. I might put it in my party, though, just because it is higher level. I mean, it's only by two levels, but it's still less grinding I have to do. And since it doesn't look like Eevees matter in this one, it's got the this game uses IV or AVs instead of EVs, whatever those are. So, nah, they're all they're all male Psyducks, unfortunately. Head to party and replace Psyduck with Psyduck. There you go. That way it's higher level. I have to grind it out as quite as much. X special defense. Never going to get used. Hey look, a Meowth. I don't think I've ever caught a Meowth, have I? I feel like I tried to catch a Meowth, but that might have been on my home file. Because I think this is the first time we've even seen a Meowth on our, on the recording file. You know what? Forget it. I'm not dealing with you. I don't care for Pidgeys anyway. Nope, not even seen a Meowth. Because it doesn't play the intro cinematic like that if you've seen the Pokemon before you 
This is another Pokemon that I would like to have in my party. There's so many Pokemon that I would love to add to my party and level. It's ridiculous. Not bad. Level up. Level 21 for Eevee. Learn Swift. I mean, it's not a bad idea to have an always hit move. It's also not a bad idea to have an always go first move. Yeah, we'll use Swift. I'm sure I can get a TM or something for Quick Attack somewhere. Super Fang! Finally relearning Super Fang. Which will immediately go away when we get Hyper Fang. Because Super Fang is... Not that great. <laughs> Yay! Meowth data was added to the Pokedex. Um... Well, I think this is... Hello, Venonat. I mean, I might as well try to catch it. It's a new Pokemon. I have no idea how that registered perfectly, but it did. <laughs> now, of course, that one doesn't. I still have no idea how to make that go. Oh my god. Get in the Pokeball. You stupid Pokemon. Thank you. <sighs> hey, 48 experience. Alright. With that, um... I think I'll go ahead and end this episode here. We'll start making our way down Route 25 in the next episode. So I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlist so that you can get caught up on any episodes you might have missed. And I'll see you all next time. See you later.